gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I am Mike. Dan, what are we drinking? Everything's a surprise. Where did it come from? What well, does it say? Who knows? It may be a surprise, Mike. For one of it us. It may be a deception. Oh. A tasteful deception. <laughs> uh, and this tasteful oh, no. deception comes courtesy of the <sighs> Common Roots Brewing Company, well, Curtis By way Jordan, of. <laughs> yeah, who sent it to us? <laughs> Common Roots Brewing Company. Hey, 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 uh, hey, hey, uh, Common Roots Brewing Company, and they're out of South North Music. No, <laughs> no, definitely okay. not North Music. <laughs> uh, this is a strawberry guava. Oh. Kettle sour. Oh. I like uh, a good kettle sour. Yeah, so Jordan over at Keep It Funky Dank and Beer Reviews mm -hmm. sent to us. Um, and this is. 5.8 ABV. Okay. And canned on, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Something 22, 24. When it's like, it's like marked off. Is that the surprise that you didn't know the canned on? No, no, no. The surprise is <laughs> the label, the description on the back. Okay. And I never in a million years <laughs> would put this on any label of mine. Because to me, this word makes me think of very bad things. All right. All right. It makes me think of, I don't know. The apocalypse. It makes me think of Twelve Monkeys. It makes me think of Outbreak featuring Dustin Hoffman and Cuba Gooding Jr. Okay. Uh, tasteful deception. A dry hop kettle sour brewed with a mix of our house yeast and bacteria. <laughs> it's then conditioned with strawberry and guava. Okay. They could have left back. You could have left bacteria. bacteria off. Well, yeah, I mean, what? I get it. I get it's bacteria and stuff. You know, but like. That's like if, if Hot Butcher put those, like, tasting notes. Hey, cat piss, litter box, and gym socks. Enjoy your kettle sour with bacteria, Mike. It's just, uh, I get it. You got to have the bacteria to get the kettle sour to create. I get it. I know how they're made. We know what's going on with beer. But you don't got to say it. It's like they don't put the ingredients of fucking hot dogs on the package. You just enjoy the hot dog and you love the hot dog. Uh, that looks pretty. That has a really nice rose gold. That's so foamy head on it. That looks, looks like pretty. a liquid Petri dish. <laughs> it does. It, it's got a nice color. Now you ruined it. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, hey now. That guava really pops. Boy, oh boy, it really I does. I really like that kidding. guava. Ooh. Oh. That's, that's different. Oh, that's, that's... So, I've been guava and some fruited beers before, but this is really popping. I tell you what, man. Um, Like, that, that strawberries... That, for the strawberry oh, right now, my. you're sort of getting that... Yeah, you're getting like... um, Not like a fresh slice. You're getting the strawberries... If you are at the store and you, you you smell them, yeah, not after you cut them or do anything, you just you smell the strawberry. Ah, there's a fresh jam in there, but that guava pops. This reminds me of so much of. Um, we had a brewery here, Custom Brew Crafters, over in Honeyway Falls. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they used Poppy! to make they used to make caged monkey or caged, caged alpha, alpha monkey, monkey. Um, IPA, and then when Hazy's got popular, they started making different ones. Yep. And wow. It was towards the end of their uh, reign as a business, but one of the last beers they ever made was caged uh, alpha monkey with guava. Oh, I forgot. And about that. I got case. I got two got cases. A lot of that beer. <laughs> two cases of that beer. Yeah. Pennies on the dollar because they were closing. Everything had to go, and that guava just instantly took me back. Wow. Okay. That's that's impressive. Oh yeah. I love, I love the aroma is fantastic on this beer. It smells delicious. Oh, Let's dive in. Cheers. Thanks, Jordan. That's that's pretty darn good. It is. It's the last beer you'll ever drink. But oh yeah, I can already feel it eating away at my yeah insides. yeah. Wow. We're gonna have to send Dustin Hoffman out in the white suit to get the the. The original monkey that killed everyone. The odds. That or no, Cuba Gooding Jr. had to get the You're going to go watch that at some point this week. That's a good movie. It's a, it's a good... You know what that movie is? It's got, you know, it's got Rene Russo in it. 
and Dustin Hoffman. I remember. And it's a about small it. town, and the monkey is the girl's friend, but the monkey is the one carrying the virus. Is it the one little of the twelve girl. monkeys? No, no, no. And but like the thing about that movie is, is like it's such a great afternoon TNT sleeper movie. What I mean by that is, it's the movie that comes on TNT, and you're like, all right, I'll throw it on, and you kind of fall asleep on the couch, take a little cat nap, wake up. Now, is is Dustin the name of the monkey? Is he part of the Dustin Dunstan checks in franchise? No. This is a sequel or a prequel? No. Like where he came from before he checked into the hotel? This is the monkey that wanted to be with Dunstan and co-star with Dunstan, but they had a falling out, so he had to go make his own franchise. And you find it better than what Dunstan... Like, Dunstan made the poor decision. This monkey... Of course. He went He went his own separate way and said... Cuba Gooding Jr. is in it. Show me the money. Radiohead. Or radio. Whatever that one. Yeah. The radiohead was the band. Yeah. Radio. Did, does Cuba Gooding Jr. sing in Radiohead when, when you hear songs? <laughs> like, is he singing creep? Anytime he talks. <laughs> it's just creep. <laughs> it wow. Man. Great band. Great band. Great actor. He can do it all. Dustin Hoffman. I just always see him as Hook. Yeah. From Peter Pan? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't care what... Like, uh, Rayman's... Nah, he was Captain Hook. Yep. Yep. Forever. Yeah. Good sour. It is a good sour. This is really good. I'll tell you what. The tartness, uh, the carbonation, light. it's dialed back, and I think that makes this more drinkable. So, how many times do you have, like, a, a traditional kettle sour, mm -hmm. and the sour is just... For me, I, I don't enjoy them because the sour is just too much. Yeah, it's dialed up too it much. Almost, yeah. It almost incites the heartburn. And yeah, this, all this that. one. Oh, excuse Light, me. Light, crisp. Uh, I can see that date being June, perhaps. And this is like something we drink. I'll tell you what. We, we said it before with a review today. I think this fits perfectly for the season, too. I could drink this with Thanksgiving dinner. This is delicious. And this is a very nice change of pace from a heavily fruited sour. Yep. Yeah. Right. Um, I really like this a lot. Uh, first beer from... Oh, man, there's no... Brand. Strawberry guava. The, I mean, you get the two notes. I think the guava overtakes it. And there's that nice Rightfully tart factor so. at that. Uh, carbonation. It's zippity doo da day all day. Um, mm. But... You know what this tastes like? It tastes like those uh, sparkling juices from Wegmans that you get for, like, New Year's. Oh, or yeah, yeah, some, like, yeah. Really better version of it. Like, yeah, I can see that. Like. I can see that. Or like, um, yeah, yeah. It's really good. I was going to say there's like, um, like those fruited, uh, there's fruited seltzers too. Sort of like that. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. It, there's, I feel like there's a little bit of fruit syrupiness in there, but it's, it, it's so dialed down that it's not giving you extreme, like, like you're dying. It doesn't leave. But it's enough. It, it's crisp and clean. It doesn't leave any pectin or anything, but. Real balanced. Yeah. Good beer. Uh, what do you rate it? For a person that doesn't really like these? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm interested in. I've got a rating in my head. I'm going to give you mm. the opportunity Oh wow! to go first. The season of giving. And for oh. Dan, that's all you're around. Well, with this bacteria in it, I just want to make sure I go I out. I feel like it's getting to your head. My One of my last it's thoughts. It's already eating away. One, one of my last thoughts before I get that outbreak monkey virus is going to be like, I'll let Mike go first. Have you ever seen Bad Boys 3? I don't think I've seen Bad Boys 2. Okay. Or uh, all of Bad Boys. Spoiler 3. alert. Martin Lawrence has a near-death experience, and he finds out that throughout the universe, throughout all the lives, him and Will Smith are soulmates, and they've taken many forms. One where he was a, a sheep herder, or a goat herder, and Will Smith was the goat, and all that. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I will watch it. Yeah. What kind of weird... No, man, that's a left turn I want but, from a movie friend. Like, what are we going to do for the third but, one? But basically, he's like, you know... Listen, we're soulmates. We've traveled so many universes together. And, like, he's convinced he can't die because of it and stuff. And oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it's like... So that causes some issues. Then I can... It, it's, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. Um, 
But I guess what I'm trying to say is, I believe in many universes, mm-hmm. I've let you take the, the go-ahead to rate a beer first. And I want to make sure I do it in this universe before we die from this monkey bacteria. Well, I'm right there with Dunstan. We're going to check in on this beer. I'm going to give it a 4-1. Oh. I think it's delicious. I give it a 3-9. What would amplify it a little bit more for me? I'd like the strawberry to pop a little bit more. Just a little bit more? The the guava takes over. Well, I I could see that because you got to add a shit ton of strawberry for it to really... Yeah, I mean, I like that the guava is more front and center. I I think that flavor just really sets this beer apart, but... It's so easy to drink. It really is. 5.8. This drink's like 3.0. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like if this was table beer style and we had a big bottle of this right here, I would not be upset. Okay. Jordan, thank you. This was a delicious beer. I am mm-hmm. really glad we got to try this. Uh, down in the description, leave a comment. You like kettle sours? Take you like us on journeys. Do you like to travel to other universes and let your other universe friends go first? Okay. Dan's the bacteria in my go, life. Go watch Outbreak. Cheers. <laughs>